good morning Christy and Jimbo here from Crimpos Chronicles and we are about to go into the RV and Motorhome Museum here in Elkhart Indiana this seems to be the place where I'm not gonna say numbers most RVs are made here in Elkhart Indiana we have passed so many lots with so many vans and campers so we're gonna go check out this museum let's go here on well this thing's huge Whoa, a deck on top. Let's get inside. Watch your step. Mm, golly, this feels fancy. Whoa. What? Oh my goodness, look at the size of this TV. Oh, oh, please do not go up the stairs. This area is very small and could be dangerous. I guess that's how you get up on that decking. Wow. Whoa, please do not push any buttons. Oh my goodness. This is like nicer than the house. Holy moly. Is that a Toto? Carpeted bed. Holy. These are the window. Lots of curtains for nothing. What the heck? Curtains for nothing? That's strange. There is a window on that side. Oh, and is that a mirror? <laughs> is this is a mirror on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, no. The door looks a little weird. This is a strange, it feels weird in here. Is that a fireplace underneath? I missed it. Wow. A dishwasher too? Oh no, that's a wines. A dishwasher too. Oh, a dishwasher too. Jeez Louise. This is the refrigerator. Look at the screen the driver gets to see. Thank you. I guess this shows the uh, manufacturing process, but we started at the wrong end, I think. <laughs> it shows all the processes of how they, which parts they do first. You know they slap these things together so fast, that's why it feels like uh, everything's falling apart constantly. I mean, how many times have our slides broke? And there's so many things that break in our camper, it's not even funny. An old Ford. Pull in. We're not allowed to get on this one because it's old. Old girl. On cabin time. Huh, so cute and colorful in the 80s colors J flight these things seem pretty light I know a few people that have these oh there's a bunk bed situation it's nice well they even get a bathtub oh <laughs> for a child couldn't take a bath in there hi yeah tight squeeze yeah looking at the back of the Furion here and Jumbo's thinking that that might be a window that was that master bedroom we were in that was real strange with the curtains for nothing <gasps> oh yeah maybe I couldn't imagine this thing going down the road it's huge it's bigger than like a semi truck the RV capital of the world this picture was taken in 1998 you know the RVs going down the street. Holy moly, that's huge. It's a miniature, but it's huge. Wow, this one looks like a coffin. 1916 telescoping apartment. Made in San Francisco, sold for a hundred bucks. There's a good old Airstream, 1958. They don't 
change their body style, do they? They don't need to. They look like cool little bullets going down the road. And this is got a rope on it so I cannot go in the air screamer but there you go not too shabby all oh, wood appliance or wood cabinets 1916 cozy camp tent trailer uh, very simple oh Sleeps four. <laughs> I can sleep underneath. Look at this cute little Airstream. It's a tiny little, little tiny bullet. 1958 Airstream. Ooh. Maybe it's the mother-in-law unit. Uh, right, the mother-in-law suite. It even has a compost toilet in it. Huh. Yeah, you just drag it behind the other Airstream as your mother-in-law suite. Oh, look at that thing. But first, I have to jump over here, sorry. 1935 Cozy Camp Tent Trailer. Hmm. Cozy. <laughs> okay, what is this? 1928 Pierce Arrow Fleet House Car. Oh, the seats sit quite close together. They're cute. I wish we could get inside. But we cannot, so we take reflections. Not reflection pictures of me. Oh, the kitchen's kind of outdoor. How cool. Oh, look at that light. Wow. It's like a storage cabinet right here. But we cannot get the interior view of that. And here's something similar. Oh. 1931 May West house car. Hmm. Got a little kitchen in it too. 1935 Bowless Road Chief. It almost looks like a underneath on a boat. That design there. Okay, moving right along. 1931 model AA Ford House Car. Oh. You ain't driving for long distances on that hard <laughs> seat. Everything's wood. It's so old and cool looking. I like it. The doors. Oh. Another one of those house, house vans, house truck vans that I can see from the back end. Stop. <laughs> That was a 1929 Weidman house car. Oh, look at the front windshield in this 1929 Weidman. You can uh, flip it open. 1933 Ford Camp car. Very simple. 1936 Road Home Coach. I could definitely feel it when I would do this all by yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm on a six month. If I like it, 1935 covered wagon trailer. It doesn't look like a covered wagon. <laughs> and there's very short and simple. 1937 Hunt House Car. And if she likes it, she's that's a funny design too with the rounded roof. Got a wardrobe though. And we saw the other end of this one and I said look like a boat. 1957 Cerro Scotty 12 foot trailer. It's more 80s decor but it's from the 50s. It's a 1937 Hayes Motor Home. Nineteen fifty seven Cerro Scotty ten foot teardrop tailor trailer tailor. It's just a bed. 
Very simple. Oh, and a kitchenette on the back. <laughs> the only information on this one, it says it's homemade trailer camper. It looks like it's got a canvas top snapped onto it. Donated by Wayne and Paul Tweedy. Huh. Pretty spacious. We sleep a few people in here. It smells old. Oh, there's children. <laughs> Look at those steps. 1956 Easy Camper Prototype. 1954 Shasta Travel Trailer. Oh, I can climb in this one. There's no rope. Oof. I don't think I want to. I can hear it creaking. This one is a 1947 Scamper. So you can scamp around. Oops. It's got a screen door. The 1954 Yellowstone Travel Trailer. It's got a back door and a front door. You can come in the back door and just climb right in bed. Climb through. I guess you can get in this one. I don't want to walk in these. They sound so creepy. I don't want to be responsible for taking one down. That's for sure. There's another pop-up tent camper. This 1980s Newmar Country Air. Mmm. Smells from the 80s. <laughs> when we slept separate. <laughs> There's the bathroom. Another bathtub. So jealous. Would love a bathtub. Could you imagine the water usage though? It was just a whole line of campers. 1955 Ranger crank up tent. This got bunks up top. You sleep quite a few in here. 1964 Coachman Cadet Travel Trailer. Also sleeps a lot because you can sleep up there. Oh, what is that? It's a pullout. Oh, wow, they can sleep even more. 1954 Holiday Rambler Travel Trailer. Look at that flooring. Oh my goodness, and the pattern on the couch. Well, they used to make them a lot better for sleeping, huh? 1962 Mallard. Very small. We've got a 1966 Mustang travel trailer. Seems so dark and dingy. I see there's a bunk bed up there. Do not enter. 1972 Apache Ramada. Oh, there's the bed back here and a bed back there. And you can make this couch into a bed and the dinette into a bed. So many can sleep in there. Nineteen sixty eight carriage travel trailer. Oof. Remind me of my grandma's house. Mm, there's been a few stinky ones. 1967 Fan Luxury Liner. I mean, it keeps it nostalgic, right? And the bathroom's in the back. 1988 Versatile Road Trek. Oof. Mmm, love seat. 1964 Clark Cortez Motorhome. Oh, goodness gracious. Huh. Oh, 
Are we getting into newer ages? Because these look like they're from the 80s. This one looks fancy. This is, this is your 1974, that's my year. GMC Motorhome. Oof. That's my year, all right. Ooh. Oh, it's got a master that's got a door. Oh, that won't. Oh, I thought it was a pocket door. Oof, stinky. It's got one of them back windows. I like a camper with a back window. I feel like I'm going to fall through the floor. Hey, transistor radio. Oof, you can hear it creaking. I want to go in this one. I don't know any information on it, but it looks a little newer than the 74. Oh, nice bathroom. Another bathtub. What is going on? Where is my bathtub? What is that? Star Streak 2, built in 1988 using a 76 Cadillac something or other. Oh, pretty simple, but it looks not so simple on the outside. It's from Lee County, Florida. Oh, it's from Lee County, Florida. It almost says, imagine driving behind it. Uh. Oh. So strange. It's a bluebird, like the bus maker. This is from Keeper Daydream. Um, 20, I don't know. I was going to say 2021. Whoa, it's really dark. Route 66 interior. Let's see if I can. Like, is this the Route 66 version? Oh my goodness. Look at the seating. Oh, I love it. I can't see anything else though. This is the one that KYD did. Route 66 in. Remember, keep your daydream. They have a YouTube channel if you don't know. Huh. That's so cool. Yeah, we did watch it. Because it was Route 66 and we have a thing for Route 66, don't we? Oh, there's the Gemini Giant. Wonder where his new home is. Okay, warning, it's another dark one, but it's a 1986 Executive Diplomat Edition. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks so cozy. Like, I would love hanging out in this living room. But yeah, dark. Oh, tile. I don't think the tile would last going, like, the way it feels how we're going through an earthquake when we drive down the road. All right. Look at all the little toys. Oh, look at all the little airstreams. <laughs> oh, on the other side too. More toys. They're so cute. <laughs> We've entered the dark part of the museum where Nothing can be seen on film. <laughs> Here's the inside of a 1938 Schult mobile home. Schult, authorized Schult dealer. Oh, look at that metal box. Is there an entry? I'm gonna go get in it. This is an exceptional 1955 Spartan Imperial Mansion. Oh, there's people in it. Okay. Or we could just watch the video on it. <laughs> okay. Better than the video. It smells good in here, too. And look at one of those old TVs. <laughs> wow, this thing is a mansion. It's got a kitchenette here. I feel like there should be another dinette. Oh, look at that old... GE fridge. Oh, it's creaking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It sounds like we're going to collapse. What's the phone for? 
<laughs> well, there's an old AC unit. That's funny. There's a phone plug. Oh, and a back door in the bedroom again. Well, they ain't given much uh, room to get into the bed. You can't tell because it's so dark in here. Wow, a real porcelain sink and a porcelain toilet and a porcelain tub. This thing's probably pretty heavy. Oh, there's a heater. <laughs> Dimbo says there's even a plug for the phone. Oh, yeah, there is. Wow. This thing is creaking. I'm ready to get out. <laughs> I love the pink interior, though. Oh, they're going to put mobile homes in the in sky. The so then you would have this is like the ultimate campground right here. You just park. <laughs> I don't think so. Where's the dog going to the bathroom? Oh, we're in the mobile home section, like actual trailers. Oh, look at I like the little mini ones. They're so cute. <gasps> little mini ones with giant doorknobs. How cute. All right. I bet it's really nice in there. I'm sure it is. But we were here for the RV part, not the mobile home part. And we are going to exit out of this dark section, go check out their little store, and move on down the road. Okay, so that was the RV Museum and Hall of Fame. I meant, forgot to mention that at the beginning. Yeah, that was the Hall of Fame. I thought there would be more modern RVs in there, but um, we got what we got. That's pretty interesting. Well, look at this cool thing. This is parked outside the museum here. It's an Eagles RV. <laughs> and there's a really ugly old RV. And that one's pretty cool.